Good morning guys, my name is Maddie, I'm head chef at Malibu Kitchen and I'm here today to show you how to make one of our most popular breakfast dishes, the acai bowl. The best thing about this is that it's really easy to make at home because it requires few ingredients and you can also substitute these ingredients if you don't have them. So the first thing that you'll need is acai. It's not readily available in the supermarket, however you can purchase it online at Amazon or Planet Organic. It comes in packets like these and it comes frozen and you want to keep it frozen because you want your acai bowl to be nice and fresh. So, when you open it, it's very important to wear gloves if you have them because it can be a bit messy. And I'll just show you the best way to cut it before we get on to blending. So, open the packet like this and peel it away and get the whole block out. You don't want to blend it like this because if it gets stuck in the blender, and it's a lot easier to do when it's more kind of like a soil, soily material. So you want to cut it as finely as possible. Like this. I like that one. And then kind of smoosh it around with your hands and put it into a bowl. And eventually, you should end up with the consistency. Kind of like this one. You can see it like that. So it's kind of like muddy in appearance. So, next we want to blend everything together. So when you're making your acai, something to remember is that the flavor of it is very, very bitter. So you want to add things to it, because this is pure acai, there's nothing added to it, no fruit juice, no nothing. So if you had this on its own, it wouldn't be very pleasant. So you want to add it in to the blender, and then you can really, you can add whatever fruits you want. You could add mango, pineapple. Here at Malibu, we like to add berries. Sort of like a little bit of blueberries, some raspberries. I've been munching on these, so there's not that many left. Some blackberries, and then what I would recommend that you definitely add in, let me just change my gloves, is banana because the banana adds a really, really nice creaminess to it and it kind of gets to the consistency that you want so that it doesn't keep that sort of like soily, grainy texture. So just cut up some bananas and add it in. So, what also is important is the consistency. So you don't want it too thin, so it's like juice, but obviously you don't want it so thick that it's like a block of ice. You need to be two feet taller for this counter. Blend it until it's all nicely blended together. Have a double check. So that's quite nice. This is the consistency that you want. If anything, it's a little bit soft. However, if you wanted to make it looser, you could add some kind of milk. We've got coconut milk here, but you could use soy milk, almond milk, whatever you want. So, the best thing about this dish is that it's served super, super cold. So you want it really, really fresh. And in this kind of weather, it's perfect. Before I plate up, a good secret to do is to keep the bowl that you're going to eat out of in the freezer so that it's extra cold. So just pour it in like this. Top it with some granola if you like. We use our house granola that is used in pastry here, made by our lovely head pastry chef. But you know, you can make your own, toast some oats in the oven with a little bit of agave, add some seeds, some nuts, whatever you want. You can really put on top whatever you want. If you want to plate it like we do in Malibu, I'll show you that now. So just cut like halfway like this. Get some more blueberries. Some raspberries. So you can see this dish is really filled with some lovely, lovely goodness. There's lots of fruit, very, very healthy. The acai, as I'm sure you all know, is a superfood. So good for the brain, good for the heart, good for the skin, good for everything. And then if you want to be super fancy, 
stabilized banana in the way that we do it. to make this at home and I very much look forward to seeing you all again when we, when we reopen. <laughs>